But oh, a new butt screen for you there, so you can actually see us while we're looking at the butts. It's a good big time. butt right there. Yes, and we cannot lie. Here it is, Michigan Whammon sues man for standing her up on a date and gets into argument with a judge. A Michigan woman who is suing a man who stood her up on a date for $10,000 got into an argument with the judge during a virtual court hearing. Now, the only reason I think she talked like this is because she wasn't physically in the courtroom because any other person... Jail! ...contempt of court all day long. Let's hear it. Let's check it out. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. It's his version... First of all, do you understand what perjury is? Yes, I even say perjury, perjury is a lie. I no, know what like perjury means. That courtroom <laughs> up in Flint it got heated. The, the audio on this video is a little wonky, but... Was so bad I know, but the judge is on video camera wearing a face shield. And then thought it was a good idea <laughs> By himself. By himself. What the fuck? I feel for the defendant. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, like I said, it, it, he should have swiped left. <laughs> Richard Jordan, who's being sued for ten thousand dollars after he allegedly did seriously what did he do wrong to warrant this kind of monetary compensation he didn't show up he stood yeah. her up yeah but men can't handle rejection right ladies show up for a date with kashante short back in 2020 in flint she okay now two wh years whoever, ago people who name their children this way please stop playing boggle with your child's birth certificate for the love of God. She says he caused emotional distress. Emotional the distress. Fell on her late mom's birthday. Well, uh, uh, who, uh, like, whose fault is that, you dumb bitch? Well, I mean, this is what I have to say <laughs> is, <laughs> you, know, I, you know how many times I've been stood Ooh. up in, in my uh, pussy chasing career before I retired? I've been legitimately stood up probably a dozen times in my life. It happens. Yeah. And it, and as a dude, you just, you, you're used to it. And now, like, when I, I've given up the internet dating thing, but when I used to occasionally meet a woman, if they're late, like 10 minutes, I'm, I leave. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not tolerating that. That's total disrespect. Amen to that. It's yeah. exactly how it should be handled. That's right. And I, I've, I can remember on half a dozen occasions, where are you? I'm like, yeah. I, you were late. I left. I told you I'd be late. And I told you I would leave. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Hey, that's how that goes, man. Okay, we're going to have to go with a big fuck off. <laughs> but listen to the way this woman talks to the judge. Yeah. Mr. Jordan, let me just ask you this. Are you planning to uh, represent yourself on this? Uh, I, I, to be honest with you, sir, I, I, I thought this was just going to be thrown out. Uh, it was, we had a date, one date and nothing else after that. And now I'm being sued for $10,000. Todd, you've been doing this a minute. Ever seen anything like one this? One date. Um, if I've seen something like this, I've seen someone go to jail. Defense attorney Todd Perkins <laughs> wasn't in on this hearing, but says the judge has the patience of a saint as Miss Short tried schooling him on everything during this recent Zoom hearing. Oh man, here do we go. Do not insult my intelligence as if I do not understand what the word perjury means. Be quiet while I'm talking. Oh my God. Because, because, her, because please perjury please is a criminal offense. She's walking through an airport. She's, uh, she's just, as the judge was muting her, God. She continued to talk. The best part, besides the look on this man's face, Miss Short didn't even file in the right court. <laughs> Bottom line is, you said it's a criminal offense, so I will send it to circuit court. Are we done here? No. Wow. No, you, you don't understand, ma'am. You don't Are understand. Are we done here? Are we done here? You know, last I checked, the judge tells you when you're dead. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Yeah, there's no way that woman would be doing this in the real court. She, no. She'd get hit with. No, if she was in real court, she would be strung up with contempt of court. I would bitch slap her back to Bangkok. And ironically, that's probably what she used to do on all of her weekends before her phone stopped her. Well, I mean, for her to, to get $10,000 in damages, she's going to have to prove damages. Damages. And you can't. Well, it's emotional damage. What are you going to do? Give him your diary? So wait, he went out with her on one date, and that was it. Yeah. And he said, forget it. Now she's suing him. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And I, I can guarantee you the judge she's going to get in front of if she keeps pushing this. She's one of those, oh, no, he didn't. He's going to be like, <laughs> uh, you're suing him for $10,000 because he didn't go on a second 
date. No. Hmm. Emotional damage. So, like the other guy who would show up and then and then ditch out and let the woman pay for everything. God. Now, granted, that's fucked up. Yeah. But you shouldn't be criminally charged for that. No. But let's not forget. Over a third of Western women freely admit to using men for free meals. That's absolutely correct. And it's we don't, happened to me. We don't get to sue them after we find out that that's all we were. Yep. Just like, apparently, there's no punishment for paternity fraud. Oh, no. Which is one of the most heinous crimes in existence. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is, because first of all, if they are successful... And fooling the so-called not the father for two years and one day, that dude is on the hook for that kid for the rest of his life. That is the equivalent of slavery. Yep. And I'm sorry, uh, I would have to die on my feet than live on my knees. Amen to that. Uh, it, it, you know, it's one thing if you, if the kids are yours, and you know it is what it is. Yeah, you, you mean yep. you brought you brought children into the world. I'm I'm sure there's a financial thing you have to do. I would much rather uh, have men have equal time with their kids instead of forking out a bunch of cash. Damn right. But, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, if the kid's not yours and they're still making you pay, you've effectively been turned into a slave by the state. You should not, in my opinion, take that laying down. Never. Absolutely never. Taking it laying down, that's her job. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.